Hello, this is Vince from The Two Reviewers. And in this video today, we're gonna to be looking at an Amazon Basics vacuum cleaner. This particular model is 1.5 liter, 700 watts. So we have the flexible hose, we've got the extension tube. We have the hard floor brush for rugs, carpets, tiles, wooden floors, and lino. The dusting brush for rugs, sofas, pillows, and upholstery. The furniture nozzle here, which is useful for doing parts of your dashboard in your car and other hard to reach places. We also have a little nozzle one here, again, for hard to reach places. And here we have the wooden floor brush. And here we've got the vacuum itself. You have the power button here and you have the retractable button here to bring the lead back in. We've got two free spinning wheels and we also have a caster wheel at the front here, which rotates 360 and also spins there. To put it together is really easy. You take this bit here and it just fits in to there like so with the button up the top. If you need to remove it to clear a blockage, you just press the button and pull it out. And you put the extension tube on like so. It's just a pressure fit. And we can adjust the length for people of different heights by just doing that nice and simple. You just move that along and slide it to the different level. And for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna be using this one here. And you can see if we go down here, it brings down the brushes. And if we press at the front, it retracts the brushes. With this, it just goes onto the front here. Again, it's just a pressure fit like so. And then when it comes to storage, it's nice because you can just put this bit here into this bit at the back and you will see it nice and neatly stores away. And whilst it's not mentioned in the instructions, we fitted the accessory holder here, but it was quite hard to put on to this tube. And if you want to adjust the suction power control, you've got options to do that here. We're ready for the test run now, so we need to pull out the lead, but don't pull it out more than the yellow marker. So when you see the yellow marker, you stop. So there you go, yellow marker, I'm not pulling it anymore. So I'm just gonna adjust it to my height, and I'm gonna turn it on here. Right, I can already feel the suction on it, and let's have a look, see if it's uh, gathered anything up. Yeah, and there you go, you can see it has gathered up some dust down here just from that tiny bit of vacuuming. So now we're just gonna do the stairs. And now because the reach of the hose isn't very long, you're not gonna be able to do a full flight of stairs, but this comes in at under four kilograms. So if you do have to pick it up and move it, it's not such a big deal. And obviously you've got the handle to carry it. So now I wanna do the side of the stairs. So I'm gonna put this straight onto this part here, pull it out. I'm gonna put this one on here and I'm gonna do the side of the staircase. And now when it comes to tile floor, I'm gonna do that there. So the brushes come down. And because it's got wheels here, it makes it really easy on the surfaces to move around. Right now, let's empty it out. Obviously you would do this over a bin. I'm gonna do it on the floor just to see how much dust is collected. And this is real, this has been running for, I would say less than two minutes. Anyway, to release it, you press that button here. And then we just have this little button here that you press in and the bottom will fall out, like so. So there you go, <laughs> look at that. That is amazing. So yeah, it has actually collected a good bit of dust. Now let me show you how to clean the HEPA filter in here. You just open up this bit here. If you look at this top bit, it says pull. We just pull that bit up and this is your filter here. We just need to take it out. And we can give that a good whack down to get all the dust out of it. It's recommended that you clean these once a month and replace them four to six months, depending on use. You can actually wash these, but make sure they're fully dry before you put them back in. You don't want water getting into the machine. And to put it back in, it's just a reverse of what you just did. The other filter is the motor filter, which is located here. Obviously, make sure you're unplugged when you're doing this. This needs to be cleaned out twice a year or whenever it looks dirty. To get access to it, you just need to push this to one side and that lifts out. And then you need to push down on the filter itself and it lifts out. This is the filter here, so give it a nice good clean. You can wash it, but make sure it's fully dry before putting it back in. To put it back, these two tabs go in at the bottom. It clips in, like so, and then this goes in that side first, and it clips back into place. So that is it for the Amazon Basic Vacuum Cleaner. Overall, 
I do like it. The downsides of it, in my opinion, are the flexible hose is a little bit on the short side. For example, on a Henry style Hoover, it will be a meter longer. Also, the electric cable on this is just over four meters, while the electric cable on this is nine meters. So when you're using it, you do find that you're having to unplug it and move it to other power points in the house quite often. Also, the build quality doesn't look as good as other Hoovers, but again, the price point is a lot less. And in my opinion, it seems to pick up the dust from the floor better than a Henry. So overall, would I buy it again? Yes, I would. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to review it, you can head over to doyoulovit.com and you can give it a yes, no, or maybe review yourself. Thank you so much for watching.